have a color-coded clip on the body which indicates the model and parameter. Red here is for PT2, the pH model. This uh, instrument is very simple to use. You simply press the button here at the end to turn it on and take a measurement. You can see when you press it, the firmware version is shown, and then it immediately starts to take a measurement. The red blinking light means you put it in the solution, swirl it around, and, and knock any air bubbles loose. You'll see the slow blinking light tells you that the measurement is actually stabilizing, and uh, as soon as the red blinking light is solid, the measurement will be displayed here in, this, in the display. Uh, we'll give this a minute to stabilize. It's obviously got the uh, storage solution in the cap here. So we're expecting around 4.5 pH roughly. So we've got 4.6 pH with a temperature of 25.5 degrees Celsius. So, and you'll see the instrument just automatically turns off. Now, to go through the different menu settings, when it starts to take a measurement, you simply press and hold the button here, and you can see it will start to scroll through the different menu options. We have calibration, factory calibration, Celsius and Fahrenheit selection, pH mode selection, and then escape. If I release the button on escape, the instrument just turns off. Let's go ahead and look at the Celsius and Fahrenheit selection. Now, we're pressing and holding the button here, and we're going to see after FAC Cal, it will say Celsius and Fahrenheit, we release, and then it will tell us push and hold. So we'll press and hold the button again, and then it's going to say Celsius or Fahrenheit. And in this case, we already have it on Celsius, so let's go ahead and select Fahrenheit and release. You can see it says saved, Fahrenheit. And now our new temperature setting will show Fahrenheit on all of our measurements. We can check out some of the other options, uh, such as the pH mode se selection option. Let's go ahead and turn the instrument on. We'll press and hold the button. This is going to show us the different menu options. In this case, we're looking for mode selection, so we'll release now. It'll tell us to push and hold, so we press and hold the button again. And it's giving us the option of hold or live. Let's go ahead and try live mode. Shows us that the option is saved. Now, now that the instrument is in live mode, when we take a measurement sample, so let's go ahead and press the button. It starts blinking. We put it in the solution, swirl it around. Now you can see it's going to display a live reading of the pH and the temperature as the slow blink is happening. The values can change every time we're seeing this show up on the screen. Obviously it's very stable since we've got the cap full of solution here. But it'll continue to give a reading until the instrument times out and turns off. And that's pretty much how you take a sample with the Myronel Ultra Pen PT2 and go through the different steps and options and calibration.